Hello there, and welcome aboard another episode of Rule the Waves 2 as Great Britain. The year is 1955. We are almost at the end of this game. So, we'll see where things are going. But right now, I am currently in the process of putting missiles on just about everything that floats. So we're fitting everything from destroyers to foreign station cruisers with SSMs. And I think this may be the end game state. At least for now, we'll see where things go in the future. But uh, missile technology is very definitely not well developed in the game. And uh, the AI players, the Germans, British, French, Russians, Americans, Japanese, and Italians, none of them have base designs that include SSMs, because the game wasn't really designed to last that long. So I would be very surprised if any of them end up building ships that include those. But, uh, let's take a quick look. I do believe that there was something pinging the illegal ship size. So let's take a quick look and see if there's anything in here. Uh, everything's looking good so far. CLs are all looking good. Let's see if there's anything unusual destroyer-wise. No. Those are all looking good too. 2100 tons. That might be larger than they're currently allowed to build, but that's certainly well within the definition. So that should be fine. Uh, heck, even, if our, even our cruisers are looking fine. I see no issues there. All right, check France. Okay, they do still have one battleship. I don't like that. At some point, I would love to see that thing on the bottom. But right now, let's see. Cruisers-wise, heavy cruisers are looking good. I like the fact that heavy cruisers don't really have any limits. And light cruiser-wise, yeah, everything's still looking fine. <laughs> they don't have a whole lot of light cruisers left. They've taken a lot of losses there. But they do have a lot of carriers. So that is actually pretty impressive. And I don't see any destroyers outside the limits either, so I have no idea what's going on with that. All right, quick check of Russia. Let's see, those are looking okay. Those are some interesting looking battle cruisers. I wish I had some data on them, but it doesn't look like we do. Okay, look down here, aha! We do have a uh, oversized cruiser, the Slava. All right, so that is an issue that we're going to have to fix. All right, what else do we have? America has lots and lots of heavy cruisers, and looks like they're all doing okay. I don't see any overweight ships there. What about Japan? I know they have a tendency to skimp on their ship construction. Okay. Yeah, those are looking good. Anything from Italy? No, nope, Italy's looking good. It looks like Russia's the only one that needs to be adjusted. So I will have that swapped over to a heavy cruiser because 500 tons is pretty significant variation there. So this Slava will be redefined as a heavy cruiser. Which sucks for them, since I'm pretty sure they were trying to build light cruisers to flesh out their fleet. But if they can't build a legal light cruiser, then that's their fault, not mine. So we'll just reclassify that and solve the issue. Okay, well, uh, now that that is taken care of, let's move right along. Carrier force is looking pretty well taken care of, aside from these two Gurkhas. Let's drop those back into mothballs. There we go. And I actually want to do a uh, little bit of a military exercise in just a little bit. So let's take these two and we're going to active fleet these missile boats and give them a little bit of time to train up. I want them at least at the uh, fair crew experience level so that we can do a military exercise, which is exactly the sort of thing that I was hoping to do earlier, but I couldn't do to the war. So now that, that is an option, we can do things. 
Okay. Well, I can't think of anything else to do this turn, so we'll move right along. Next turn. Two Corvettes commissioned. Hooray. Arethusa finishes her reconstruction. Good. Oh no, one of our agents has been caught in France. Sounds like a national hero to me. Okay, Corvette is ready for construction. I don't see any particular changes we need to do, so we'll just go to the build screen. Uh, and that was a Westburn class, and we're going to lay down ten of them. There we go. Oh, wow. So apparently building ten more Corvettes is what annoyed Germany. <laughs> All right, let's see. Why did that annoy them? They don't have that many submarines. What the heck? Most nations are less than 100 right now. Only Japan has more than that. Okay. Man, I need to stop recording these so late at night. Alright, well, Camper Downs are up to fair experience already, so that's good. How are these? Looks like they're fair as well. Alright. Let's uh, active fleet all these Legolases and let's do an exercise. Okay, active fleet and fleet exercise. All right, so we are going to do a... Uh, let's see, let's see. We want the... Friendly Force is going to be camper down. There we go. Oh, hang on. I need a division. There we go. We'll do camper down on Mars. And the enemy can have all of those destroyers. Let's see. Here we go. So enemy new division. We want... We'll just take, oh, oh no, I got to do them one at a time. One, two, three, four, new division. One, two, three, four. All right, so that is two groups of destroyers. And you know what? I've got a few cruisers around as well. So let's grab one of those. So specifically one of the R1954 class. So let's go up here and we're going to do a new division and we'll just take this one. Add ship. There we go. Looking good. Okay. Starting range. Let's see. What do we want? So light day or night, weather, good or bad. I think we're just going to go with good weather, so we'll go with ideal conditions. Daytime, good weather, classic range. Okay. And we will do that. Should be ideal conditions to see how those destroyers handle. And technically, if I wanted to be super fair, then I would do a cruiser and a battleship on each side. Actually, yeah. Let's, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to remove that. We're going to come over here. And we are going to remove all of those. And we're going to put a battleship. Hang on. Okay, there we go, battleship. And we're going to put another division. And we're going to take one of the 1954 Comuses. Okay, that seems good. We go back up here, new division. And we need those destroyers. Oh my, so many ships to scroll through. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. We've got some overlap. Okay, Legolas, Rebel, Dune, Chalmer. 
Okay, so we'll do Mohawk on down. Mohawk. Foxhound. Scorpion. Scourge. Okay. That gives us a nice little mix. No destroyer overlap. Okay. So Light Cruiser Division is scouting for the Battle Division. Oh no. I have no way of doing this stuff. Okay, well, let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so we'll remove the Mars. And we will remove all of these destroyers. And we'll see about putting these in. Here we go. There we go, Battle Division. Then we want the destroyers, or hang on. No, we want the light cruiser. Okay, so remove that. Light cruiser, where's one of these? 1954 class, nope. Hang on, which cruiser? We did the Forte, that was a Pandora class. So I might as well grab a Pandora as well. We'll take the Aeolus. All right, there we go. And then we needed the destroyers. Come on, here we go. All right, that was the first one. So, Legolas, Ribble, Dune, Chelmer. Okay, so we've got on each side, we have one battleship, one light cruiser, four destroyers. Daytime, good weather, classic and guard. Starting range, sounds good to me. Okay, flu exercise will cost two million. Yep, that is fine. Let's do this. Okay, here we go, battle has spawned. Okay, and quick check. Yep, I see radar. I see plenty of radar. And I see plenty of radar. Oh, look at that. Under per ideal conditions, our gun range matches our sighting range. Okay, and let's see what we got. We have these fellows are, well, this fellow is scouting. These guys, I think, would be better off. Let's see, what is their tasking? Support cruiser division. No. I want you guys to form on the battleship. And I want you guys to screen the battleship. There we go. We'll see how well this cruiser does on its own. Oh no! This cruiser doesn't have missiles. Oh well. Yep, we'll catapult launch some search planes. And there they go. Well, we'll see where things go from here. Looks like our destroyers are properly grouping. We've got some spotting. They've got planes in the area. Ours are going who knows where. There we go. Okay, we've got a spotting report. That way, squad max. Let's see what we got. One battleship. Yep, that's them all right. Well. Hmm. That's interesting. What are they doing? Well, they haven't popped into radar range yet. Or visual range, so whatever's going on, I have no idea. Oh, Camperdown is down to less than 50% fuel. Oh, come on. That's a military exercise. You can't even properly load up your bunkers. All right, well, let's swing around, see what we can find over this way. Did we seriously just miss each other? That is embarrassing. Perfect daytime conditions, and we totally missed each other. On a deliberate military exercise, 
and they completely failed. Come on. This is embarrassing. There we go. Okay, we got him. Alright, well, we'll point straight at him. Alright, we'll go with fast speed for now. Yep, they're in that direction. Is that? Oh. Well, that looks like a missile. Which way is it heading? Oh. Bingo. Forte is overflown by a missile. Man, they're right at radar range limit, too. Foxhound overflown by a missile. Okay. So they are launching at us. All right, and we're starting to get visuals. All right. Turned open broadsides. Oh, Camper Dad just got hit by a missile. All right, well, she's on fire. Let's see what the report is. Okay, heavy missile, secondary battery hit, fire started, and we are already up to a fire level two. Okay, let's uh, let's get those missiles on their way. Forte is hit by a missile. Ah, near miss. Okay. Forte hit by a missile again. Scorpion hit by a missile. Scourge hit by a missile. Okay, we're taking hits. Are we firing in return? Looks like it. Yeah, Mohawk is launching missiles. Okay. So, Scourge got hit. What's the report there? Near miss. Okay. Scorpion got hit. Looks like a near miss. And Forte also got hit again. Looks like a second near miss. Okay. Enemy ship is hit. All right. So it looks like... Actually, hang on. Am I able to tell them what ships to fire on? All right. So manual. Target. Okay. Well, I can't tell them a target. Can't set specific things. Okay. Let's see if I can fire torpedoes at... Uh, no, we don't have any control. Okay, so it looks like there is no manual control over... Uh, yeah, no manual control over uh, missile launching. Okay, how's Camperdown doing with this damage? Yeah, not great. Okay, I'm putting you guys on support and putting you back on AI control. Okay, another hit. Forte hit by missile again. Foxhound hit. Forte hit again. Let's see, what are we looking at? Okay, there's some hits. That did some damage. Okay, we got a super circuit pack through hit. Fire started, fire started. Another missile hit, fire started, so that's three separate fires, and the fire just spread. Yep, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. Okay, Forte is hit by another missile. Camperdown hit by another missile. What's the result? We're up to two hits. Another hit on the secondary battery, and a second fire started. Okay, guys, we need to start launching. Nope. Launch those missiles. Mohawk hit. Camper down hit. Oh, no, no, okay, yep, yep. Well, we are getting hits in return. Foxhound hit. Unidentified ships hit. Kind of would be nice to know what we were hitting. Camperdown, are you able to open fire? 
we have visual on an unidentified ship. What? That's not the unidentified ship. Oh, our, our spotting range is down. Is that accumulated smoke? Oh well, she's launching missiles at least, so that's good. Is that it? That's it. And there is a scout buzzing around. Let's see, what are we hitting? That is probably their battleship. Let's see, how are we doing in terms of ammunition? All right, let's see. Okay, so we, we've we taken a decent number of hits. But the destroyers are still rocking on. And let's see, anything else to report? Not really. Well, Foxhound and Scorpion are both down a gun, which is interesting. Let's see, so, ah, here we go. Foxhound has indeed taken several hits. Looks like she's got the fires out though, at least for now. And one gun is disabled. How's Scorpion doing? One hit, fire started. Oh, missile launcher hit, missile explodes, fire started, fire started, okay. Fire's reduced, and they are continuing to return fire. How are we doing on launchers? So we should still have... Ah, oh, nuts. I can't see the starboard broadside swivel mounts. But they reported launching SSMs twice. And we have four missiles per side. Okay. So it looks like the destroyers seem to be taking fewer hits than the battleships. I'm seeing more missile overflowns than missile hits on them, and a number of near misses. Okay, Mohawk hit. All right, got that one out real fast. Well, that's good. Sure do wish we had a report on how much ammunition we had. Well, there's a simple way to find out. We can simply bring the other broadside to bear. Heard of starboard. Okay, camper down. Launching, launching, launching. Get him. And we got a 12-inch hit as well. Oh, boy. That battleship is in trouble. Oh, Camper Down took a hit. And we're getting some more hits among their destroyers. How's Forte doing? Is she getting the fire under control? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe. She's working on it. All right, Mohawk takes another hit. Camperdown takes another hit. All right. Battleship takes a few more hits. A few more hits there. A few more hits. Oh, wow. That is a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five missile hits on that Camperdown. Six hits on that Camperdown. Enemy cruiser hit. Cruiser hit, cruiser hit, and Forte takes another hit. Yeah, she is not doing good. Well, no, that was a near miss. Okay, splash down. I think, however, I'm going to order a flotilla attack and see if we can get into the thick of things. Camper down takes another hit. Scorpion takes a hit. How's Camper down holding up? Actually, remarkably well. Those fires are significant, but she's getting them back under control. Which is remarkable for a very, very early dreadnought. Those things had terrible fire prevention measures. But it looks like we are getting into things. And it looks like our destroyers are getting things under control as well. Go get them, boys. 
All right, we're getting some IDs here. And our destroyers are really getting into it. Let's see, do we have any reports on how much missiles we have left? Let's see, so those are zero. Port aft, yeah. Port broadside, zero. 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 Okay, so we still have one left on the port aft broadside. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. So if we can bring that one to bear, we can probably get another missile off. And let's see how these guys did. Let's check the Mohawk real quick, just to see. All right, port broadside, one spent, two spent, three spent. Still got a fourth. Okay. Oh my. And those missiles, they're doing damage very, very noticeably. It is very effective at starting fires. Oh, we can look at that. Fire started, fire extinguished. Fire started, spread, reduced. Launch, 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 spread, reduced. We're still fighting that. It is not out yet. And let's see. What else do we have here? Scorpion is <laughs> really in trouble. Her upper works are absolutely thrashed. And that was just two missile hits. I guess it was the, oh, the severity of the missile exploding. Yeah, that does make sense. So it looks like while the battleships are able to shrug off hits. Oh, here we go. Other camper down is stopped and on fire. Okay. Well, that was probably that missile barrage probably set the fly fires raging out of control. We'll see. All right, time for Camperdown to shift her fire. I don't want you firing at that Pandora. Okay, and I also want you to open broadsides. There we go. Hang on, somebody said fire spreads. Quick view of log entries. Oh, Forte fire spreads, okay. How's she doing? Oh, very bad. Okay, well. See if we can save her. Manual control. We'll try reducing speed. That usually helps. And we'll turn her away from the fight. Our destroyer seem to be doing just fine. Oh, nope. Nope, they called it. That spread out. Well, nuts. It looks like we've got him on the run. There we go. Torpedo's out. I'll bet she's burning out of control as well. Let's uh, withdraw that flotilla attack for now. And we'll just chase him off. And they are bound and determined to run away. We'll try a flotilla attack here. How's Camperdown doing? I see fires back. Oh, yeah, that's spreading. Okay. So we're going to send the destroyers in separately. Squad Max. Turn towards Camperdown. Let's reduce your speed and break you off to try and preserve your fighting capabilities. Okay, I'm still seeing a few missiles. Out and about. We are tracking in. Whatever that thing is. Well, here comes the night. Let's see how those uh, six inch guns do. Oh, hang on. Scorpion is on fire. Ooh, Scorpion is very much on fire. Well, she was getting it under control. Quick review of the Camperdown. How's she doing? Okay, looks like Camperdown has it out. Oh, almost out. Fire reduced to zero. But it's not officially extinguished yet. Let's try... Detaching Scorpion. So she can... Uh, 
try and get those fires under control. Drop her back down to 10 knots is probably good enough and send her back towards the camper down. And we'll keep on chasing with the other two. Do either of you have missiles left? Uh, well, well, that's a Sam, never mind. Oh, hang on, we still got one on the port broadside. At least one. What about Foxhound? Okay, that's a Sam. Hmm. Oh, hang on, we still got one more on the port broadside. Okay. Let's try launching those. Turn to starboard. Or not. If you're not going to launch the missiles, then I'm not going to bother. Oh, they turned around. Maybe we'll launch them at a slightly longer range. No, nope, I guess not. Okay, well, in that case, turn on back. And looks like that'll get us nice and close. Whoa. Okay, here we go. In contact. Oh, we got a torpedo hit, too. Not bad. No idea who we hit with a torpedo, but hopefully that'll knock another one out. How's Scorpion doing? Uh, fire has spread. And with the structure damage almost gone, how's she doing? That looks like she's completely out of structure points. At least it gives me flotation points to look by. So she's still doing fine there, but structure is basically gone. So I don't know if she'll be able to get that fire back under control. How's Camperdown doing? Yeah, fire extinguished. She's fine. All right, well, let's bring Camperdown back over towards the fight then. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Okay, we're good. Keep chasing. Uh, I'm definitely liking these longer range six inch guns. There goes another set of torpedoes. Let's see how our rate of fire is doing. Mohawk has, it looks like, one gun on target. Oh my. Forward is destroyed. Aft is low. Aft superimposed still has high explosive left. Looks like... We, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, rate of fire. Let's see. Let's see. So, we're still on deliberate fire. Sea state is hurting things. Interesting. And, of course, crew quality is <laughs> hurting as well. But... Yeah, those autoloaders are definitely still showing up quite nicely. And as soon as we're out of those HEs, we'll switch over to AP and start doing damage again. Yep, and the poor AI is milling around in confusion. Oh, Mohawk got hit. How bad is it? Huh, not bad at all. Oh, hang on. Electric power disabled. Okay, that is bad. <laughs> Hard starboard. Time to run. Okay, Foxhound, your only hope. Screen the Mohawk until she can get power back. Oh no, it doesn't say electric power disabled. Not for Mohawk. Huh. Interesting. Well, go chase them off. And better yet, fire some missiles. I know you still had one left. 
Do you still have that one left? That's a Sam. Yeah, you still got that one. Port Broadside. Man, you guys are embarrassing me. All right, well, I think this fight is just about over. Yep, there we go. Scenario is over. All right, so we lost the Forte. And we did take heavy damage on all of our ships. But, overall... Interesting. All right, let's take a look at the results. So, ship details. Okay. Um, let's see how the Mars did. She took 19 heavy hits. There we go. And what did we get? Okay, yep, they also had issues with float plane launches, so that's fine. All right, so we had a heavy missile hull hit. So that did some damage, but I don't know what. Okay. Then we had secondary battery hit, fire started, yep. Yeah. Heavy missile turret hit, turret disabled, fire started. Okay. Heavy missile hull hit, belt extended, fire started. Okay. So I'm seeing belt extended penetrated. Which, these guys didn't have that heavy of a belt extended, I don't remember. There we go, launching SMs, four of them. 12 inch hit at 19 and a half thousand yards. Belt extended penetrate. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Belt extended. Another heavy turret hit. Knocks out a turret, starts another fire. Heavy missile, machinery disabled. Salt water in the feed tanks. Fire started. Of course. So we hit them in the feed tanks, and we start a fire. Radar disabled, so she's no longer able to launch. Can't see the enemy, can't launch. Okay, fire started. Another fire started. Another belt extended. I'm not seeing anything hitting... Oh, here we go, here we go, okay. Heavy missile, engine hit belt, failed to penetrate. Interesting. That was 12 inches of old armor. And the heavy missile was not able to punch it. So it's probably equivalent to like a 11 or 12 inch shell, maybe a 10 inch. And it was not, pen it was just not penetrating armor. So that's interesting. So when we hit it where it counted, that missile was not able to get through. And then again, we did set lots of fires, and I think that's what did it. Wow. Another fire hit. Fire reduced by damage control, final level 11. And that's when they call fires raging out of control. Okay. And then we got one last missile, fire started. Yeah, at that point I was done. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot to be learned from that. So, 19 heavy hits, of which... Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three were shells. So that's, oh my math time, uh, that's what, 16 missile hits to knock out a Camperdown class battleship? 16 missiles, that's actually remarkably tough. All right, let's see how well the Forte did, because both of those were sunk. Okay, looks like they, four missiles on the Forte. And yeah, she had trouble with fire started. Yep, heavy missile superstructure, fire started, fire started. Superstructure fire started. Secondary battery fire started. Interestingly, I'm seeing one, two, three near misses. And one, two, three, four hits. That's a much higher ratio of near misses for this. The Pandora just tanked their hits. She just tanked them. I don't see any near misses here. 
Yeah, these all of these hit. And we also saw a lot of near misses for the smaller destroyers too. So like the Actually, quick check of the Aeolus, see how she did as well. Okay, so we got a good hit there. Super Supercapacity, fire started, fire started, yep. That makes sense. Andrew hit belt, bounced, failed to penetrate. Interesting. Are we just unable to penetrate engine rooms? These are mostly hitting upper work. Secondary battery hit, fire started. Superstructure passed through, secondary guns knocked out, fire started. Splinters in the uptakes, fire started. Huh. That is very interesting. And then fires, fires, fires. Fire extinguished. And then torpedoed. <laughs> and it was the torpedo that did it. Interesting. So we didn't have any near misses on this one. I wonder what the difference was. Okay, camper down. Did pretty well. I know she took seven heavy hits. Did she have any near misses? No, heavy missile fire started. Fire started, fire started, yeah. Another hit. Another hit. Interesting. Superstructure hit, belt extended. Failed to penetrate. Interesting. We were penetrating sometimes, but also other times it doesn't go through. Oh, here we go. Hole hit, belt extended, fire started. Okay, yeah. There we go. That's a bit more of what I would expect. Okay, let's see. So main battery scores a few hits. Yeah, I don't see any near misses on the camper down. Let's see how the destroyers did. Let's see, Mohawk. Okay, one near miss. And I think that's it. And she took two heavy missiles. And yep, torpedoes disabled. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is interesting data here. Uh, launches torpedo at 2010. Torpedo mount reloaded, 2108. So that is right about one hour. That is very interesting. Now we actually have full final data on that and we can safely say it's a one hour reload. I was figuring it was about that before, but I never actually knew for sure. All right, let's see how Scorpion did. She also took a few medium hits. Okay, so one near miss. Pretty severe hit right there. Launches, launches, more launches, fire spreads, another hit. And that looks like it. Okay. That looks like about it. So one near miss on the Scorpion as well. So far it looks like a two hits for every one miss. Then we've got the Scourge, one heavy hit, missile near miss, lots of launches. Okay, so that was one and one. What about the Foxhound? Hit, miss, hit. Anything else? Yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. My destroyers are really getting into it with those six inch guns. <laughs> we got those five medium hits on there. All right, so again, two to one. Let's see about Ribble. Launches near miss. Launches torpedoes. More torpedo launches. So yeah, we are still able to reload and do more. But I'm not seeing any reports about SSMs being reloaded. 
Okay. Interesting. And just for completeness sake, let's check the dune. Launches, launches, launches. One hit. Near miss. And a second hit. And then Chelmer. Near miss. And that was it. And the Legolas. Near miss. Two more near misses. And a fourth near miss. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Legolas is seriously lucky. Not only that, she scored one of the highest hit rates. All things considered. Five hits. And she was in the fight for quite a while, too. Impressive. Not to mention she picked up survivors. So yeah, that is a good sign. I think these new Legolas ships are lucky ships. So, hooray! That's nice. Alright, well, that is some very interesting data, and I'm going to have to think about the results from that. Either way, we are getting very close to the end of the game. And if I don't have that level of control, I am not sure if I actually really want to continue into the missile era that far. The AI players don't design ships that use missiles, so sure, it would probably be amusing to just shred them with swarms of missiles, but I'm not sure if it's really worthwhile. So I'm going to have to think about this. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll call the episode to a close there. We're going to have to see about what to do with missiles, whether it is worth continuing or not. Certainly it is a very game-changing dynamic there that is also clearly not well-developed. So, I don't know. We've had our big world war. We've had our developments. I might just do one last major fleet exercise with all the ships and uh, just have one big global war between all the big ships and see how things go. So I don't know. Maybe I'll declare war against the US and have one big fight against them and call it a joint military exercise because they are actually pretty friendly right now. So... We'll see. Would certainly be fun to get in on the action against these uh, North Carolina class. See how the new American juggernauts fare. But I don't know where we're going to go from here. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And we'll figure out where to go from here. Until then, this is Katori87 signing out.